so good evening all you misfits so i'm going through another edit uh you just played a game today um i have my video queued up i have all my intro and everything good to go and i, and I made a new scoreboard part of the new scoreboard is i'm gonna have uh the period indicated in here and i threw in the uh the timer so what I wanted to kind of use this as an example to demonstrate uh, what I mean by the sandwich. So remember I was talking about La Fomora is like a sandwich and all the tracks. So track number one is the counter. Track number two is your first slice of bread. Track number three is like your peanut butter and all that stuff. And then everything that gets stacked on it. And it's like you're looking down on it. So right here, I have my, my main film I have my timer in track two and I have my scoreboard on track three. So you can see that it's clearly covering it. I need to shift those guys around. So I'll unlock a couple of tracks. I'll move the timer up, I'll move the scoreboard down. After I move the scoreboard down, see, now it comes to the, to the forefront. So I'm gonna extend my scoreboard now to reflect the fact that it's a 22 minute period. So we'll do a right click duration and we'll make it 22 minutes stretches it out okay and now i'll take my timer and i'll bring my timer down now that puts everything in tier and i will double click on that and now i'm able to move it into the position that i want that looks all right right there Okay, so now we got to start populating um, some of the text. So we'll X out of that. We'll go to our titles. And what I want is just a small little indication to tell you what period it is. So I'm going to go to the lower thirds. Lower thirds give you a smaller type of a print. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to move that into track four. Double click on that. And I'll get my font menu. And I'll go. first for first period now clearly you can't see that so i'm going to come up here i'm going to hit the uh the, the style two to give it that dark outline i'll okay that and then i'll take this guy and i will um, first i'll move that guy out of the way and i'll take this guy and i will move it up to here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to x i'm going to unlock that track and I'm gonna unlock that track. And those are gonna be where my scores go. So what I can do is, cause I'm happy with that font size and that type. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna move my playhead. I'm gonna highlight the, the, the font that I want and I'll do a control C to copy it. And I'll do a control V to paste it and then I'll do it again. So now I have two separate uh, fonts. I'm gonna take this one and move it up to here. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it to here. I'll double click on this guy. I'll make that a zero. And I'll move the zero over to the score. Double click on this guy same thing get a zero and i will move him over here and there's my score all right so there i have everything lined up and i have all all my fonts and all my scores and all my periods so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do some reshuffling now i'm going to take this move that there Okay, and so now that I have that, I'm gonna extend them to the 22 minutes. All right, and now everything's all lined up for when I start to go through and do my edit. Now, if you take a look right here, um, these are very large and i'm not able to see all the tracks at the same time 
So um, depending on how many files you have all stacked onto each other, you may want to see the actual value of all of them. So what you can do is select one of the tracks, do a right click on it, and adjust the track height to small. And it shrinks the track sizes so that you're actually able to get all most of your tracks all on at the same time. So now everything is kind of shrunk down. Now I can actually visually see um, that all the tracks and I'm able to manipulate them however I need to. Okay, hope that helps. Take care.